Hola, senors and senoritas. This year, I promised myself that the year of 2024 was gonna be the most, the most organic um, and authentic I'm going to be. Like, if I am in bed and I'm thinking of an idea or I feel like I should start filming something, I'm gonna film it. So I've been wanting to do my fashion show reaction, runway reaction, fashion show review videos. But I'm like, oh, I gotta, you know, get all dressed up and dolled up in front of the camera. <laughs> not tonight. I'm not doing that because I was just literally chilling in my bed in my daughter's little tent because we put her little tent on the bed. And I have my laptop and I was scrolling through Vogue's um, fashion show. Scrolling through Vogue.com's blog. Um, reading about the Chanel from the outside in fashion show that was this week at Paris Fashion Week as I eat my little bites. So if the lighting isn't as perfect, hopefully you're not upset by that. But as I was watching, I mean, as I was reading through the blog and just reading about the collection because I have, of course, seen the you know the like little clips with kendrick and dave free talking and just clips of the show i haven't had a chance to watch the full show because i actually wanted to watch it with you guys um i was just about to go ahead and watch it by myself but i was like i hurried up and i got up and i was like you know what i'm gonna film this as i'm like lounging right here exactly where i am at the moment and it's like literally almost two o'clock in the morning i've been creating content all day but i was like i want i really i'm just like really intrigued and i like this is the first collection that i actually want to like sit down and watch besides valentino and balmain this is like one of the ones that i was really wanting to get into because y'all literally know how much i love love kendrick lamar and how inspired i am by him as an artist and a creator so i was like i really want to review this collection because my fellow gemini friend is in it he is doing amazing things him and dave free i love both him and dave free i'm like i could cry this is like such a big accomplishment and just to see him going into this lane into hot couture and like doing this short film with chanel called the button which is like i feel like is incorporating his media company pg lang so i'm just excited so the notes that i took was this is the spring summer 2024 collection from chanel this is the hot couture collection okay i don't know why vogue the vogue website is actually crazy right now but i'm glad i took my notes what? so um and zahara's in the background so y'all probably hear her but basically this is the spring 2024 women's hot couture collection um within this collection kendrick lamar and dave free actually did a collaboration on a short film which i got to watch the short film i did watch it on chanel's um youtube channel as well as a clip on um on instagram as well but the short film again is called the button and i loved it like i y'all know i'm a designer so this is like my thing like seeing this was just really great really inspiring and it like just motivated me more to just keep getting in front of the sewing machine keep creating keep draping keep designing keep creating it was just very very inspiring it also kind of made me really appreciate the fact that i created a vintage collection as well called timeless takara because i just feel like timeless pieces like are super important um because they last forever you can pass them down so i love that this film featured the actress um and i'm gonna touch on that in a little bit so this film featured the actress margaret quali i think that's how you name say her name and also the chanel brand ambassador naomi campbell and um brand ambassador and actress anna mo i think that's how you say it i'm not sure if i'm butchering their names or not. so basically in the film margaret receives like this and if i don't want to like i'm just gonna touch on it so if you don't want like a spoiler alert don't don't listen or like watch me but i'm just gonna like touch on what was seen in the film so basically um basically kind of like off like a little note of what vogue said in their uh their 
what's it called right up as well Margaret received this like really really pretty white quilted jacket and there was a missing cuff I mean there was a missing button on the cuff of the jacket um it was a very beautiful tailored quilted jacket absolutely stunning um so at the beginning of the film we see her like in her place in her home wherever she was um kind of like admiring the jacket being happy to receive the jacket and then she noticed the button is missing she rushes off to the train station to try to make it to the station so that way she can actually um, head off to coco chanel she goes on like this journey to find coco chanel to actually help her replace the missing button on the jacket. Kendrick Lamar and Dave Free touched on how this film is basically all about transmission and time. When I watched it, I first thought it was not about transmission and time. I immediately felt like it was about, um, I guess toward the end, you could say, yeah, I thought that. I immediately just thought it was about like, um, I guess like um, embracing the imperfections but that was included in there too but to see them talk about it being about transmission and time and being able to like pass down timeless pieces and embracing the beauty of imperfection I thought it was like well thought out I loved it so in the film we see Naomi she like gives her um, this her, like her her ticket so that way that Margaret can actually get to Coco Chanel in time because Margaret's like, you know, time is just not on my side. <laughs> um, and so she helps her with that. And then, um, so once she gets to this dressmaker, which was Anna, um, this like mysterious dressmaker, ends up restoring the button. She knew she was on her way. She was like curious to see who was going to show up with this, this jacket and if they were going to realize that the button was missing. I believe so I think I remember seeing that part in there or she's like yeah I know she's coming like blah 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 say blah, blah so even though she restores the button she was like yeah like you know your I think she said like her grandmother or her mother or something I think she said your grandmother you know told me to not put the button on the jacket because she wanted to be imper imper imperfect she, so she tells her to find the beauty with the imperfection of time so i'm thinking it's like imperfection in the pieces which that's another thing but i love i just love how they mix the two because it could be either or but yeah she was like find the beauty in the imperfections of time because she's like you know time's not on my side so i thought it was amazing so basically vogue states that they were conveying a message about how time adds layers of meaning to experience and how imperfections according to lamar and dave free are just beauty's flip side so i believe so because i feel like over time um even when pieces like are worn i believe that as well because i feel like over time pieces become even more beautiful when they're worn that's why i started timeless takara because i feel like over time it's like as you wear a piece over and over and over again like those little imperfections um even now like i'm wearing a piece from a newly and this is like a rental company but i know it's been worn but it's like it's just the fact that somebody else's story was ingrained into this or they wore it on a date or whatever the case may be i love the story behind pieces that have been worn already or have been passed down um have a story behind them why somebody picked out a piece and then like it's getting to be passed down so i just think there's a beauty in it um so yeah time there's beauty in time so there's two ways to that there's so many different ways that you can convey this film and that's why i feel like there's so much beauty in it so in the clip that we seen with kendrick lamar and dave free just like touching on how they created the film and like them actually going backstage to chanel and seeing like actually being back there as the pieces were being made they were just giving their thoughts and i was i was like oh my god somebody they get it they freaking get it they just talk all about like the passion behind it creativity the magic of couture appreciating timeless pieces the beauty of you know pieces and fashion being timeless so again they said they wanted the story to be about transmission and time they said we wanted to frame how couture in its artful sense brings about the magic of chanel and how it can be passed down 
and how we could frame the concept of transmission from past times to current times in a magical, fun, energetic way. We were thinking about Chanel, the timelessness, its classic spirit, definitely that, and how to tie that in and see it and seeing it sort of from the outside in, putting the focus on artisanal quality of the house, the absolute attention to craft and to details and how that can drive a person to embrace also the idea of imperfection and back to what i was saying about that you guys seen like in my last video if you haven't seen when i was sewing up that skirt when i was just doing like a recreation video how i was like you know what i don't i'm not gonna stress myself out as i'm like trying to recreate because that's the beauty in it and i really want to finish reading the the book the artist's ways because it talks about this but I just tried to find the beauty in like not trying to like perfect the piece so much especially because it was something that I was just recreating and freestyling and that's just the beauty in it is not trying to make everything be so super duper 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 perfect another thing that I wanted to touch on before we actually go into watching this show PG Lang is a independent communication and production company i said media company but i guess it's kind of the same thing right but anyways i want to go into so he said something in particular that just like was like oh my god he gets it but he said kendrick lamar said i spent quite some time in the chanel altier where they make those beautiful pieces these people sewed their hands touched the fabric their hands touch the fabrics they put their hard work into every piece their traumas have touched these pieces it's not just fabric but people's stories and energy and it's something exceptional and deeply human that has that has to always be valued and appreciated thank you this is why i tell you guys as designers to stop being so hard on yourself and stop feeling like your designs are supposed to be microwaved and sewing a piece with your bare hands putting all your energy to it into it that takes time sometimes it might not take a day it might take a couple weeks three weeks a month a year to make some of these dresses like and to say they put their traumas into this like there's not just one story because you know in like in studios and stuff like that like in these houses like there's more than one person actually creating these pieces so it's like everybody is working together as a team to create so you as a designer again need to just give yourself grace but i just that statement that he made and how he said there was a in the clip on instagram that i watched he was like you know these aren't robots machines making these pieces these are real human beings with souls putting their energy and their time and their effort and their hard work into these pieces so they should be valued and appreciated and i do feel like in the coming times more people are going to appreciate i feel like we've already appreciated art but i feel like it's going to be like a thing that's going to be bigger on social media especially because i feel like sewists and designers don't get as appreciated as they should um because of and i think that uh, i think fast fashion has a lot to play into that yeah, but yeah i just wanted to touch on that thank you so much kendrick for just noticing that and noticing like the hard work i'm not i'm not in a big fashion house but even to somebody down to somebody who is like a small business who just sews their pieces on their own um and does everything from like and does everything on their own and like puts a lot of hard energy into fashion and creating designs like we are thankful that you appreciate appreciate us sewists and designers who really make stuff and create from the hands and the souls okay <laughs> okay so we're gonna try to watch this show hopefully my battery doesn't die on us because my battery just likes to die so fast but i'm gonna watch this show and we're just going to appreciate the fashion okay i'm gonna give y'all my full reaction on this show it's about 14 minutes long so i'm gonna put my headphones on Ooh. so in the article he did talk about how the button they plant that the layout of the show they wanted the button at the top they're showing the film they wanted that the button at the top to make it more um intimate and to bring everybody at the show together 
to feel more together, which I love. Um, I really feel like Carl would be proud. I didn't really know what to expect from these pieces, so I don't really know. I haven't really actually looked at the show at all, so I don't really know what to expect. We got the all white. I love Billy is giving preppy. I don't know if I would say ballet court. <laughs> so beautiful. I love the tool. I've, I'm seeing a lot of tool, and I love that. So I guess ballet core, maybe, right? Jackets are beautiful. So this is spring summer so that's why we're seeing a lot of white oh i love this this that top is beautiful it's just so much elegance like that top can be worn so many times this is different Ooh, it's like that pinky color I love anything like bedazzled and like glistening. Ooh, this green, the pale green. Is that going to be the color for the spring? Oh, I love that. So I'm not like a big fan of print, but I like that stiff. Ooh, I like this jumpsuit. It's like lacy. See things that I wouldn't necessarily. Ooh, you okay? Things I wouldn't necessarily wear, but I I have an appreciation for. Her. That's really nice. Ooh, this top I would definitely wear. Now this is me. I love a high neck. The like extravagant, dramatic high neck. What? Okay, Kendrick. This is an unreleased song, you guys. I like that floral jacket. Gray. I'm so here. I can see this being worn with like some gray jeans. I don't know why I would. That is so pretty. Is that a dress? Come on, red jacket. This is so pretty. I love this black dress. Oh, I would definitely wear that. It's so beautiful. Oh, this is different. It's so elegant. Oh, this is definitely giving Barbie vibes. Y'all, I really feel like Carl would be really proud. This is really cute. It's like not too much. It's like elegant, really beautiful pieces. Timeless for sure. It's def definitely giving off that classic Chanel vibe. Like, that's pretty. It's like a vest. Okay, long veil. I like that skirt. Oh, the top. Okay, so I love how there's like a mix of like different things. It's not just, you know. We're getting tool, we're getting tweed, we're getting lace, we're getting we're getting variety. I love that. For tool <laughs> on the jacket, <sighs> so good. 
Oh, okay. My modest girls are gonna love this jacket. I need it. Oh my god, this jacket. Oh my gosh. The sequence with the tool squirt. I'm actually kind of mind blown right now. Wow. Now I wouldn't wear this. I don't, I'm not really loving that one too much. It's still beautiful. I can appreciate it. It's just not something I would wear. I could see who it would be for though. Maybe I just want, I haven't really gotten to my like super floral girl era. <laughs> but I do like this jack, like crop jacket. But they're using a lot of floral. I feel like maybe it would grow on me. I like this. This is definitely giving like off some type of like floral but with like a 70s vibe to it. This blue is different. That was unexpected. I didn't see that coming. Okay. Oh my goodness, y'all, I love this. I love these, these sequins. This dress, that all black, and the one before it. The silver one's okay. I really love the black ones, though. This is pretty. Yeah, I really, my bad, y'all. But I really feel like you can see this piece being worn in, like, Japan or something. I love the like pinkish embellished effect of it. This kind of like um see through jumpsuit is jumpsuit is cool. Oh, I love this. I feel like these pieces are like really playful. And there's a lot of tool going on. <sighs> Polka dots. That's so pretty. This lacy, like, definitely giving a lot of ballet core. Ooh, I love this. Not a big fan of the sequence, but I can appreciate the dress. Now, I do like this sequence on this top. This is beautiful. Wow. Love this two-piece. Is this like an all-in-one dress with black, or is it like a two-piece? I think this is like a dress. It looks kind of like a two-piece with like a bodysuit underneath. But I think that's how the dress is supposed to look. More embellishments. I love the layering effect on these pieces. Oh, this is beautiful. We have like the detailing in the back of the halter sequence dressed with like the white flare on the bottom. Playing with a lot of tool and tweed and quilting, of course, signature timeless signature Chanel look. Oh, I like this look. Great spring look, summer fun has a little bit of pastel colors in it no. 
I would be getting. I'm oh, like itching. Ooh, so this is kind of like giving like a, looks like kind of like a finale look. Oh, that is beautiful. White tool again. That is so beautiful. Oh, it has this like detailing in it though. A lot of detailing on the dress. I love the puffer. Again, sleeves. And then we get like this little detailing up here on the collarbone. <gasps> That's pretty. Okay, Kendrick. Mm. I love this like blues kind of aesthetic he's going into. This was good. This was good. Chasing program. I think that's what he said. I love how he said, I feel something. I love how she just like appreciates Day Free and Kendrick showing that love. That was a really good collaboration. And let's just appreciate the fact that Kendrick went up there in there with his Chanel jacket on with his denim jeans and his sneakers, okay? And I was like, oh, this is, I love how he's being authentically true to himself. He didn't go up in there being all, well, he is still bougie. I would still say he's bougie, which I love. But he's still like, I'm still the same good kid, Mad City. Like, I'm coming up in here repping me. Authentically me. Overall, I really think that was a great show. I, I love the whole concept. The clothing was beautiful. It definitely told a beautiful story. And I'm just here for the whole collaboration. Um very very inspiring and it definitely motivated me to get in front of that sewing machine okay so yeah let me know your guys' thoughts on this spring summer 2024 hot couture chanel show did you get a chance to watch the show yet if you did leave your thoughts about the collection down below and the collaboration as well did you like the kendrick song I cannot wait till we see like what else he's gonna release as the song. Are we gonna get the full release song from this film? Hopefully we do. Let me know which show you guys want me to review next. I'm thinking Valentino or Balmain, probably one of those two, but I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow because I'm about to get ready to go to bed. It is very, very late. Um, and I have to get my toddler to bed because she's actually up riding through the night with me. Um, so yeah, that's a life of a toddler mom. But anyways, hope you guys, you, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and me just being in the princess tent on the bed. <laughs> hopefully it wasn't too, too just authentic. But yeah, until the next one, I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you at the top. Peace.